everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm just gonna go over a few things that I purchased from Sephora and that I purchased from Ulta so I did order these items online from both places um, so let's just get in and I'll show you guys what I got first we'll start with Ulta um, I got the Stardust Too Faced shadow palette that um, collaborated with Vegas Nay to do. So I'm very excited to use this. And this is what the palette looks like. It is very beautiful and it comes with a beautiful assortment of colors. Shadows, if you can see those. So, and they're very um, pigmented and I'm excited about that. So I will be um, doing a tutorial with this. And this also came with a small uh, tube of the Better Than Sex Mascara, which is one of my favorite everyday go-to mascaras. It also came with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance for the eye primer. And then it came with this adorable a uh, little thing of glitter. It reminds me of like fairy dust. <laughs> it's so beautiful and shimmery. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll do a little swatch here of it. Yeah, look how pigmented that is. And I'll just put a sample on my hand here. Yeah, it's very beautiful. I don't know if you can see that with my lighting, but it is very beautiful, very shimmery little bit of fairy dust love it and then the second item that i purchased from ulta i got the tarte energy noir palette and this is shadows and it also comes with a blush it's very beautiful and these are highly pigmented as well so i'm very excited to use this it's like an assortment of purples so I am um, eager to try this out as well. And then also from Ulta, I got the Tarte um, Fresh Eyes Eye Makeup Remover Wipes. These are very good. They're non-greasy and they really do remove the shadows and mascara as well as waterproof mascara. It just takes it off very nicely and it's uh, very easy on uh, and soft on the skin. So I really like that and that is the items that I purchased from Ulta um, the next group of items I purchased I got these from Sephora and this is an actual repurchase this is my NARS um, foundation and this is the weightless luminous all-day foundation it is full coverage and I absolutely love this foundation. This is my everyday go-to full coverage foundation. And I'm in the shade Santa Fe. And I truly love that foundation. I also got this makeup brush. Uh, this is the Pro Airbrush. And it's beautiful. It has this floral design on the handle. And it is a synthetic brush. I'll open this and show this to you guys. So it is a synthetic brush, so I could use this, you know, for blush. It's just beautiful. Or maybe even setting under, well, it might be a little big to set the under eye powder, but definitely for blush. It's just, it's beautiful. I'm excited to use it. Normally, I buy my brushes from Sigma and from MAC, but I thought, I do have a couple Sephora brushes, just not very many. I just prefer the Sigma ones and MAC ones. And then I also got the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I got this in the shade Light Sand. And this is what this looks like. And it is the um, concealer for the under eye area. So I'm excited to try that out as well. Because it's supposedly creaseless. So that is a huge excitement. This is something new that I've never tried before. This is by Sephora, and this is the Radiant Luminizing Drops, 
and I got this in the shade morning light it's like a champagne color and what I would do with this is put like a drop of this in my foundation and it will give like a luminous effect mixed in with my foundation so I'm very excited to try that I'll be doing a tutorial um, showing you how that works I also got another beauty blender and this time I ordered the beauty blender stand. <laughs> I couldn't help myself, it's so cute. So this will sit on my vanity and hold my beauty blender just like this. So, and I was in the market, I needed a new beauty blender anyway because you know they only last about three to six months before it's time to uh, switch it up and you know get a new one because as you can see I'll just show you. This is my old one three months later. And I just washed this last night. So it is, you know, stained still, but this is the brand new one. So I'm excited um, to use them. And you guys need to remember when you are using a beauty blender, you always want to get it wet and, you know, squeeze out the excess water. And then it puffs up like about twice this size and then it's easier to apply your foundation or your concealer. So the Beauty Blender is the way to go. I don't apply my foundation with anything else. I used to use the uh, foundation brush and this is by MAC. I used to use this foundation brush just to dip, dip in and now let me take that back. I do initially dip in on occasion and put my foundation on here and just kind of pat it all over my face just like this but then I always go in with the beauty blender and buff it all out so that is what I do but I never really just solely apply the foundation with the foundation brush anymore so I'm always switching up my routine and doing things different so who knows the next items that I got from Sephora are a bunch of masks uh, for the face and this is these are sleeping masks and the first one I got is in pearl and then I also got this in rose now I have not used these two specifically before these are new to me so I will be trying these out and I'll let you know how these work but this I'm assuming you put on at night and you moisturize it into your face and sleep with this on the other ones I have used before and I love them. The first one is the Green Tea Eye Mask and that's what this looks like. And inside of here are two eye masks and they go right here directly underneath the eye and you leave them on for about 15-20 minutes. And I got this one in Green Tea and then I also got this one in uh, Lingzi and this is anti-aging and smoothing this one is relaxing and refreshing so I'll be um, using those and then I also got two face masks now these are sheet masks and these go all over the face and I got the first one in Lotus which is moisturizing and soothing and then I got this next one in Rose which is ultra moisturizing and brightening so I do really enjoy these masks they make your skin feel so good and refreshed so I will be that's why I repurchased them because I really truly was happy with the first ones that I tried out so I think you guys that's all my purchases that I got from Ulta and Sephora so I will be doing a um, tutorial using the luminizing drops mixed in with my foundation and also using the new concealer that I got and also um, the two new palettes that I got. I'm really excited to try these out. There's a lot of talk about these on the tube, so I am excited. So I'll keep you guys posted and I'll let you know um, how everything works and how I enjoy these products. Until then, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.